with this viewers, let's move forward and on to the buy now, sell now lens. Let's shift focus to the AMC space because Geo Financials has signed a JV with BlackRock for wealth management and broking. And JP Morgan on the other hand has upgraded HDFC AMC to overweight. Now how is the AMC shaping up and who will emerge as the sector leader? Sharad Dubey is joining us to give us all those details. Take it away Sharad. A lot of action coming in the AMC space and a larger player like Geo Financial Services. Second JV they are having with BlackRock and this time it's for the wealth management and the broking business. Earlier this was there for the overall mutual fund business. Now what impact is happening for the AMC players? Of course it's an initial stage, it's a nascent stage where Geo Financial Services is announcing larger JVs and BlackRock itself is world's largest asset manager with almost 10 trillion dollars of assets they are holding. Now the stocks have actually run up over the last two to three weeks. There were foreign upgrades also coming in when it comes to the wealth management stocks and even certain brokerage names. Now the yield pressure is still there in the mutual fund industry but with the advent of Geo Financial Services, you can expect that more distribution channels will be opening up and also importantly there might be important job shifts or you could say attritions happening at the top level as well that's what our channel checks suggest and we can expect more of this attrition especially in the AMC in the wealth management space also importantly JP Morgan has come out with an upgrade with HDFC AMC in focus they have upgraded it to overweight from the neutral rating and the target price has hiked from 3500 to 4450 rupees per share and the market share overall has improved for HDMC, which will also translate into a better margin performance. Still, the benefits of merger is still expected to flow and it has not kicked in yet. And the core EBIT margin expansion is expected to be holding steady due to a better product mix. And lastly, the regulatory overhang which is there for, the, for most of the AMCs, that also seems abated as well. Well, thank you so much, Sharad, for getting us all those details. So, indeed, all these uh, AMC counters are buzzing in today's trading session. And uh, with this, let's get the expert view on this one and any of the top recommendations by them from this particular sector. Let's understand that from them. And let me welcome Rajesh Agrawal on the fundamental side, as well as Kunal Botra is joining us live to help us on the technical front. A very good morning to both of you. And Rajesh, coming to you first, what's your take on the AMC space? Finally, this space is looking for a um, good upside because HDFC AMC uh, got an upgrade from JP Morgan. And even we are seeing a good collaboration between BlackRock and Geo Financials in this particular space. How are you witnessing the kind of competition that is kicking in? And do you believe with the increase in the market size, there is more headroom for the valuation to uh, move ahead? Good morning, Sushti. Good morning, Sobhir. Good morning, Kunal. Uh, you said it right. EMC stocks are going to see new highs, but we should not forget that it has already seen a phenomenal revenue in the last one year or so. Almost all the stocks, be it HDFC, EMC, be it upon be it UTI, EMC, everybody has run up quite a lot. Even the smaller EMC like ADSL, they have also run up quite a lot. But still, there are a lot of headrooms going ahead because of the fact that equity market is buzzing. We are talking of trend today in economy. We should not forget that SIP has grown up to 90,200 odd crores as per recent data and it's going to go up even further seeing the kind of uh, investor education being done by the regulators, be it SEB, be it AMFI and all those things. So I think, yes, these uh, this entire sector is on for a role, but we should not forget with the kind, uh, with the entry of geo and uh, it, there is disruption for going to happen in the entire space as such, be it AMC business, be it wealth or broking, which they have, they have made a JV yesterday. So uh, we have to look out for this. A lot of attrition, a lot of disruption, maybe uh, brokerages going down. All these things are going to happen in the next two, three years, we believe. And as far as uh, top picks in this sector is concerned, I think Geo would be the first pick, which I have been very bullish since the day of the listing. And we still feel that Geo can be a multi-bagger of sort if uh, things go right in its way as per planned. Uh, they have a huge database of telecom and retail with them, so they can use that. They, that, that the third largest financial services company as on date. They might attract new uh, investor and strategic pa uh, partners, which again would uh, do value unlocking. And they intend to move into life, non-life, general insurance business. And yesterday we have seen wealth management and broking being 
done. They have 6.1% uh, shares of uh, Reliance as a treasury holding. That, again, is a value enhancer. And not to forget that they have Chiranjit Singh, Atra, uh, former SBI, uh, Hitesh Shetia, former ICIC, and Mr. Kamath at the helm. So everything is in favor of Jio. And uh, Jio would be the per top pick. And the second one in this space, if somebody wants, would be uh, Nippon India Financial Service. That's the word coming in from Rajesh. Geo Financial could be a multi-bagger. He also likes Nippon uh, Life AMC. Uh, but Kunal, uh, what's your view when it comes to uh, this wealth management and the brokings piece? Any interesting names uh, on charts that you uh, any uh, names that you find interesting on charts like 361, Novama Wealth, Anandrati Wealth? Any picks from that? So yeah, I think Novama is something which is uh, attractive. In fact, I've been tracking the stock of late. Uh, the history, of course, is limited. For the, the price histories are limited for the stock, but I think uh, you know it's been a more of a consistent trend for Novama. That's looking very attractive. Even Anandrati, uh, you know, stock I think has been one of the few names which has been moving up steadily higher. You know, uh, lesser degree of volatility for the stock, and I think greater degree of stability for the price trend. So that's also another uh, you know space, uh, you know, stock from the space which looks attractive. Geo Finance, I would also agree that the stock largely is now uh, you know showing signs of strength. So from an earlier base of 220 to 25 towards 250 to 55 which is the trigger point of a breakout to now comfortably above the 300 plus mark 350 plus levels so i believe now the support for the stock is much higher 320 plus is a, a key uh, short to medium term support for geo financial uh, on the charts that's looking attractive and from the other amc names uh, i would probably uh, you know agree with uh, the likes of nippon uh, asset management etc but even hdfc amc something which has started to go into a breakout mode the stock has been consistently showing signs of strength if i'm not wrong almost four or five straight quarters of price uptrend for HDFC AMC. The stock has done reasonably well from 2023 lows of uh, 1700 or 1800 odd levels to now 3600, 3700 plus marks. So that's also another name which traders could look at uh, from a medium to long term play. Right. So those are the takes uh, coming in from our experts and their top recommendations from the ANC space. So viewers do look out for this one. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to ET Now.